Today I'm going to walk you through the premium editing features of the Full Page Screen Capture Chrome extension to show you how to easily crop, edit, and annotate your screenshots. Let's get started by navigating to the More menu to get to the Cropping Editor so you can crop out anything distracting from your screenshot. Clicking on Crop Image creates a cropping box on your screenshot that represents the part of your image you want to keep. Move your mouse pointer over the handles, then click and drag to resize it to the part of the screen capture you would like to preserve. Click Done Cropping to exit the Cropping Editor. The plus and minus signs next to the More button can help you change the level of zoom while editing. Going back to the More menu, this next feature adds a browser display and working URLs to your screen capture. URL on top or URL on bottom adds the entire URL. Windows or Mac OS X displays the browser and URL as they appear in an actual Windows or Mac operating system. By clicking on Shapes and then Rectangle, you can highlight a certain section of the screen capture. Once placed, you can drag the shape and use the handles to resize. The outline section of the editor is where you can edit the borderline of the shape. In Fill, you can select a color and opacity. Clicking into the main area exits the shape settings. Next up, we'll comment on the highlighted area using an arrow and text box. First, you can select the arrow feature. Going back into Outline, you can input your preferred line weight. Using the automatic red guidelines, you can place the arrow in the ideal location. Next, select text and drag the element to place it in the appropriate place with the help of the automatic red guidelines. Double click inside the text element to edit the font features. Change the size of the font with your arrow keys or input manually. Double clicking again, you can input the text you'd like shown. You can move and resize the text box by dragging and clicking on the handles even after the text inside has been changed. If you'd like to zoom in on a specific area of the screenshot, you can click on the number between the plus and minus signs. In this case, the number reads as 75% and you can click where you'd like to zoom. Optionally zoom out by holding down Alt or return to edit mode by pressing Escape. If you'd like to convey something with an emoji rather than pure text, you can go to the stickers menu for your system's emojis. In this case, we are looking to use the flashing camera emoji. To place a second emoji, you can go back to the menu, select click, and drag. However, if you don't like the action you've just taken, you can go to the above bar and click the undo button. When you do find a second emoji that you like, you might run into the problem of which element should be placed in front of the other. For this, you can refer to the left sidebar for layers. By moving an element higher on the layers list, you can change the order in which it appears layered on top of other elements. The last feature we'll go over is again in the more menu padding border. You can change the default color to a color of your choice in the fill section. When you're finished, do a final review of your image and then you can download and export your final product. If you have any questions or thoughts about the premium editor, please don't hesitate to share it by clicking the button in the bottom left with a flag that says any issues. Have a great day and have fun editing your screenshots.